I therefore propose a toast to the health and leadership of our two presidents and to the fraternal bonds between our governments and the people of our two countries. I thank you. Ambassadors and High Commissioners, members of the diplomatic community, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, bonjour, sunny bonani, jumalan, good afternoon. Ladies and gentlemen, it is truly an honor and a great pleasure for me to join you, to join all of you in this wonderful celebration today. On behalf of the government and the people of the Republic of South Africa, I extend our congratulations and our best wishes to the government and the people of the Republic of Cameroon on their 51st anniversary of independence. Between 50 and 60 years ago, as the triumph of independence swept across our continent, the world was a very different place. There are, of course, those who would say that some things may have changed, but that many things have also remained the same. Recent and ongoing current events remind us that the world is like a proverbial village. We are independent and proudly so but we cannot ignore the fact that this global village and within it, we are also interdependent. In this global village, the challenges of unemployment, especially amongst our youth, poverty, which is exacerbated by inflation and supply chain disruptions that cause food and energy insecurity, all remind us that we need each other because no nation, no matter how powerful, can face these new and existing challenges alone. If we are to work together as countries, then I am indeed privileged to have Ambassador Azombi as an interlocutor. Just a year ago, we made a pact to review and to sharply grow our relations. We acknowledge that South Africa and Cameroon enjoy very cordial relations that date back to April 1994, but we felt that we needed to be more ambitious and that we could do much more. We therefore placed the strengthening of bilateral relations with Cameroon high on the South African foreign policy agenda. And evidence to this is the visit of Deputy Minister Mashehod Lamini uh, at the end of last year, 2022, followed by the recent official working visit of our Minister of International Relations and Cooperation, Dr. Naledi Pando, which took place in April of this year. The main purpose of that visit was, amongst other things, to strengthen our bilateral relations and commercial and trade matters between our countries. <coughs> Minister Pando's official working visit affirmed South Africa's willingness to strengthen cooperation with Cameroon in sectors such as agriculture, mining, infrastructure development, education, health, science, and innovation, as well as youth empowerment. Furthermore, the visit affirmed the two countries' desire to establish a South Africa Cameroon Joint Commission of Cooperation, or JCC, as we say. The JCC is being prepared for adoption in 2024 during the planned official working visit of Minister Mbela Mbela, the Minister of Foreign Affairs of Cameroon, at the invitation of Minister Pando. It is our belief that these successive engagements in such a short space of time is a tangible display of our mutual commitment to strengthening bilateral relations and provide a platform to assess progress on the implementation of bilateral agreements and memoranda of understanding between our two countries. The Ambassador alluded to the number of instruments that we are currently working on as a way of uh, laying the foundation for this uh, work and this bilateral uh, engagement. Your Excellency, our two countries are committed to continuing to create an enabling environment for the private sector companies to operate, as this will boost value addition and create employment opportunities for our citizens and grow our economies. We are therefore focusing on improving and increasing trade and investment between South Africa and Cameroon. It is equally important that our two countries continue to promote people-to-people -people links. 
And once again, the ambassador, in his wise words, uh, alluded to the importance of this as well. And I believe that our artists and our youth are already engaging with each other. Through cooperation in the education field and in the arts and culture, there is very good collaboration between our countries. South Africa is host to many prominent academics and researchers in our various institutions of higher learning. We are contributing to the knowledge base and the transition to a digital future. We therefore look forward to receiving a delegation of senior officials from the Cameroon Ministry of Higher Education next month to boost cooperation in this vital sector, including collaboration between our universities. Your Excellency, between our bilateral relations, we believe, beyond, sorry, our bilateral relations, we believe that South Africa and Cameroon can work together in pursuit of sustainable peace, stability, and development on our continent. While we desire to have peace and stability, some of our countries are still experiencing instability and conflict, unfortunately. War and peace have a direct and material impact on the success of continental in initiatives, such as the African Continental Free Trade Area. And our common vision, which is encapsulated in Agenda 2063. In this regard, our heads of state and government adopted the May 2013 Solemn Declaration, which committed the continent to silencing the guns by 2020. Sadly, this was also not met, and we know uh, from the news every day that the guns uh, continued to fire. And so this should enjoin us to spare no effort and to redouble our efforts to fight for peace on our continent. Honored guests, as I've alluded to, we have made significant progress and we are continuing to forge ahead in building a strong and durable relationship between South Africa and Cameroon. So today, we pause and we wipe our brows to celebrate our partnership with our brothers and sisters of Cameroon. I therefore propose a toast to the health and leadership of our two presidents and to the fraternal bond between our governments and the people of our two countries. I thank you.